At the corner of Endicott and Shorecrest lives a southern belle whose heart I instantly fell in love with. I spent some time this week with Kathy Duke and her caretaker, Nancy. She fed me chicken and dumplings with some greens. Then I sat down and heard her story. <sighs> One day, my father sat across from me, drunk out of his mind with a rifle on his lap and said, I ought to just kill you. I grew up in a family in which both parents were chronic drinkers, and that, that is the reason that I, I think that I am affected by, I am affected with spastic cerebral palsy. From the time I was a little girl, I, I knew there had to be something more to life than, you know, having CP. One of the most precious things about my time at the Shorecrest home was a friendship that I saw that had developed between two different ladies, one a Carolinian and the other a Maine Yankee. Uh, we got pulled over with the van. There was her in the van and of course Cindy and then there was Marie. And so we're getting out of the van. He said, do you know why I pulled you over? And I said, no, sir, I don't. So I, before he could even say too very much, Kathy was hollering in the back of the van, I've got $150. Will that keep her out of jail? <laughs> and we find in a lot of churches that whether you have a disability or whoever you are, you're judged. And that was the hardest part we were finding in finding a church, and this is why she fits in so well. So it's like a home for us. A few years ago, Kathy started collecting blankets, as she says, for the babies. And uh, I cannot believe that Change Point wanted to help us this year. I, when when Carl Clawson called me personally and told me, I'm like, I let out this million decibel scream. I'm like, ah! all the blankets collected will go all throughout the state of Alaska to villages, hamlets, small towns, Providence, uh, regional. I mean, everywhere, you guys would get the greatest, warmest feelings in your hearts if you did that. I intend to keep doing it until I'm maybe like a hundred or maybe until I'm dead, you know? And life now is so good. You know, I mean, I, I guess the night that I heard God telling me it was going to be all right, and I really did hear that. I guess he had this in mind all along. When I left that day, I left with two new friends and leftover chicken and dumplings. But there is one more thing Kathy wanted to say. Change point, bring your blankets. 